By this time, we should be seeing whether there are enough transport options for commuters in Metro Manila, with traditional jeepneys that have not applied for consolidation not allowed to ply routes. Still, Motor Forum discusses the thinking of transport authorities and jeepney groups on this issue. This time, transport authorities seem to have not blinked in the standoff with drivers and operators of traditional jeepneys, still opposed to a consolidation as part of the government's PUV modernization program. Those opposed have been warned that they would be disenfranchised. They would be apprehended and penalized as colorum if they ply routes starting in February. Those still contesting the legal basis and the PUVMP process, however, also are not blinking. Warning of a transport crisis if government would persist in stopping unconsolidated traditional jeepneys from plying their routes. In a press statement, a transport group claimed that over 500 PUV routes in Metro Manila do not have enough consolidated jeepneys and UV Express units to meet demand. The pagkakaisa ng mga samahan ng chopper at operator nationwide said there were 395 jeepney routes and 108 UV Express routes in the capital region that have no consolidated units. Piston added that there are 337 jeepney routes and 68 UV Express routes in Metro Manila that have less than 60% consolidation. But the LTFRB sees no transport crisis developing in Metro Manila or elsewhere. Wala po kami nakikita ng uh, crisis. As of now, po, yung mga rotang yun na nabakantihan po, may mga handang mga iba-ibang modes of public transport, jeep, UV, bus, and sa Metro Manila Rail na pwede pong pumuno doon sa mga naiwanan ng mga hindi nag-consolidate. Heading into the end of the January extension, given traditional jeepneys to continue to ply their routes without applying for the consolidation, the LTFRB said it would give special permits to unconsolidated PUVs and routes identified as not having enough consolidated units to meet passenger demand. We have already mapped out all these routes in Metro Manila. Ilan ba dito yung uh, 60% ang nag-consolidate, ilan po yung less than 60% at ilan po yung zero nga. Meron hong sasagot na ibang modes or ibang rota po. The LTFRB assured commuters that there would still be enough modes of transport when unconsolidated jeepneys stop plying their routes. Transport groups opposing consolidation and the PUVMP think this is more of visual thinking by the LTFRB. Yung taong bayan ang tanungin natin, kahit na nakikita nila yung paghihirap ng mga mananakay, ng mga commuters na hirap umuwi, hirap uh, pumas, nagbubulag-bulagan sila. Commuters should now be experiencing a more difficult time looking for rides. That is expected. How much more difficult is the question still to be answered? Another is how would this affect government's resolve to continue with the PUVMP? That's our Morning Forum this week, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.